You may sleep with your pet every night. You may have your dog or cat snuggled close to you in bed, which can be great for your mental health and overall sense of well-being. But have you ever wondered what's going on when your dog or cat sleeps? Why are they such restless sleepers? <clears throat> Sneakers. And for that matter, how do other animals like birds and reptiles seem to get rest? So let's take a closer look at how animals sleep. Hey everyone, I'm Faith. On our channel, we talk a lot about human sleep, but animals need every bit the sleep that we humans do. It just takes on a little different form because of a little biology and a little evolution. And as you might imagine, sleep is just as diverse as animals themselves. But let's touch on a few of them. First up, mammals. The amount of sleep mammals need really depends on a host of factors like their age, body size, the environment, their diet, and perhaps most importantly, the safety of their surroundings. So the type and kind of sleep your dog gets is going to be different than your cat, which is going to be different than camels or bears or tigers. But we can say a few things for certain. First, most mammals spend time in REM sleep and non-REM sleep, which leads us to think that animals do, in fact, dream. The second thing is that mammals have polyphasic sleep. It's a fancy word, but what it really means is that unlike humans, who usually sleep in one concentrated time period, animals sleep in shifts. Most animals keep a watchful eye for predators, so of course they're going to experience more fragmented sleep. So how long do mammals sleep? Well, giraffes sleep about 4.6 hours per day, while elephants sleep only two hours per day. On the other hand, dogs spend a third of their day asleep and another 21% in a state of drowsiness. So basically, your dog is ready to nap at all times. Then of course, you have animals like bats, bears, hedgehogs, squirrels, and possums. These creatures are unique because they hibernate. Hibernation isn't necessarily just a long seven month sleep, but rather it's a state of torpor. Hibernation means everything in an animal's body slows down, like its metabolism, heart rate, and respiratory rate. The goal is to conserve energy and survive while food is scarce, like in the winter. Okay, let's talk about sea animals. Their sleep is also quite diverse. Walruses sleep approximately 20 hours per day, and they can sleep either in the water or on land. When they sleep in the water, they usually hang out at the bottom, float along the surface, or even attach themselves onto an ice floe and just hang. But they can also swim for about 84 hours before needing to sleep again, so the ratio checks out. There's also a fascinating group of marine mammals like dolphins, eared seals, and manatees who sleep unihemispherically. This means that one side of their brain sleeps, scanning all the restorative energy that sleep provides, while the other side is wide awake, scanning the environment for threats. Another group that sleeps this way is birds. And this is cool because they literally sleep with one eye open. In fact, the eye that's open corresponds to the side of the brain that's awake. Now, the animal sleep patterns we know the least about are reptiles and lizards. But we are learning more. We know that, like mammals, this group tends to have REM and non-REM sleep cycles, some as short as 80 seconds. And as they sleep, they do so in a way that tends to protect themselves. Crocodiles also tend to sleep with one eye open. But snakes, well, it's as creepy as you'd think. They sleep with both eyes open. Both eyes open, you guys. <sighs> But also, they don't have eyelids, so... Finally, let's talk about fish. Fish don't really sleep as much as they do rest while also protecting themselves from predators, of which there are many. They may hang out in mud, sand, or coral to gain some rest and protection. So as you can see, animal sleep is as complex as the animal world itself. But sleep is also when animals are at their most vulnerable, so animals have learned to sleep very carefully. Thanks for watching everyone, sleep well.